Hey y'all, I'm Val, our Forever Farm. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to my kitchen. So a few weeks ago, our neighbor contacted us and contacted my husband and said, my wife's birthday is soon and I'd like to surprise her with that lemon dessert that your wife brought to the neighborhood party. You know, we have a neighborhood party usually every month. Summertime's a little bit busy, but um, anyway, Neither one of us could remember me making lemon anything. Well, I found it on Facebook. I found the pictures. I had bought these little tarts. Some of you on Facebook may remember it. Little graham cracker tarts. You can find them at the store. I find them at Piggly Wiggly. I don't know if Walmart has them or not. I don't know. I haven't looked. But anyway, so Chase asked us to make that for her for her birthday. I think it was her birthday. I, I mean, I could not remember. I scrolled and scrolled on the pictures. I looked on YouTube because surely I wouldn't do a recipe and not put it on YouTube, right? I did. So anyway, it was a lemon icebox no-bake pie, and they were very good. The reason I put them in these little, little bitty tarts, you can see the difference in a graham cracker pie shell and these little tarts is because it being a neighborhood party i thought it would be great to have your own individual little pie so that's what i did but i failed to do a youtube on it and i failed to post the recipe evidently on facebook or my blog or anywhere so today we're making lemon icebox pie it's a no-bake pie and guess what chase's wife justin is going to get a pie and we're going to get a pie. So lemon's one of our favorite things and I never make it. So let's get to cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and go just by the recipe and tell you what we need. The recipe calls for one nine inch graham cracker crust. And I just bought it. But I also have these little ones and that's for me and Sweet Hunter. I'm gonna make this one for Justin. It calls for one can of Eagle Brand milk. It calls for a block of softened cream cheese. Oh my goodness. These two things together has me. It calls for lemon juice. Now you can use lemon juice out of the bottle or you can use fresh squeezed. I'll put the original recipe in the description box, which I believe calls for fresh squeezed and some lemon zest. I'll just go ahead and tell you, I, have, I do lemon zest every once in a while. Lemon zest scares me because I'm scared I'm going to get into the white part of the lemon. In this pie, I just used lemon juice, and it works fine. It's delicious. And this is 100%, I think. Yeah, it's 100% uh, lemon juice. So, it's good. So, let's get to cooking. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is open the cream cheese. This has been sitting out for several hours. It is at room temperature. I am doing more because I'm doing more than one pie. So, I will put the original recipe, like I said, in the description box. And everything I call out will be for the one pie. But I will be using more. So, the first thing we're going to do is open these and put them in the mixer and blend those up. So we're gonna add one block of cream cheese. You see me putting double in or two of something. Remember, I'm making more. Now we're gonna mix this up until creamy. it's creamy. Now we're gonna add a can of Eagle Brand milk any brand's fine as long as, it, long as it's condensed milk. So next we're going to add our lemon juice. And it calls for half a cup of lemon juice, whether it's fresh squeezed or out of the bottle. I'm using out of the bottle. And of course, I'm using more because I'm doubling the recipe. But just don't pay attention to that. Just go by the recipe. Check it out in the description box. That's where all my info is. And we're going to add that to this uh, cream cheese and Eagle Brand milk. Oh, my goodness. 
Now we're just going to mix this together until it everything's combined. We're going to put it in the pie shells and then we're going to chill them for two hours or more. I mean, how simple is that? Just remember, this is a great dessert to make ahead. Now we want to, to mix this until it's completely smooth and you want to take your spoon and run it along the sides because you don't want any cream cheese or anything on the sides not getting mixed in. Now I've been told that you can use the fat-free cream cheese, but it makes it taste more like a sherbet taste. I don't know. I don't use low-fat anything. Make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. I have done it both ways. I have used the bottled lemon juice, which is what I do, the easiest one, and I've used the real lemon. Either way works. I couldn't tell the difference taste-wise at all. You can make this dessert up to two days ahead of time, and you can also freeze this pie for three months. Now we're fixing to place it into the pie shell. It needs to be in the refrigerator for at least two hours. More is better. You'll know when it's set and thick. You can also store this uh, pie in the refrigerator for up to five days. So it's a make ahead dessert. Now you want to make sure that your mixture is creamy like this and no lumps you want everything to be creamy it's not going to be as thick as chilled but it will once you put it in the refrigerator i love make ahead desserts and i love to share my food with friends and family so i'm going to fill this up as much as i can because we're not baking this this is a no bake pie Th this one is ready except for the chilling I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it. This is a great pie to give away as a gift. And another suggestion would be to add a recipe card with the recipe attached to it. This is a great pie for summer. It's a cool, refreshing pie. Now you can serve this with whipped cream. I would not put whipped cream or Cool Whip on it now. I would wait until I serve it to do that this is delicious i want to tilt it up and show you but it is a little thin i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator so now i'm gonna do these i just love these little graham cracker tarts i think they're so convenient and like when there's just the two of us or you have unexpected company you could just pull them out of the freezer i love them and this is the last one i believe i got enough to do it so like I said, I doubled the recipe where I could make these little pies for us. I put a, probably four in the refrigerator and freeze the other two. And then later on, we're going to take this pie to Justin and Chase and surprise her. So it's a late birthday gift, but I finally figured it out. You know, that's what happens when you get older. You forget. <laughs> so there you go, Justin. Here's your pie. I hope it's good. I hope you enjoy it. So here's our little baby pies. Aren't they cute? They're like the big pies. They're just little tart shells. I'm going to cover the others with plastic wrap. And then I'm going to change clothes and go fishing. Y'all know that's my new thing, fishing. And hey, y'all, go cook something.